everyone! Bagong episode na naman ng Surprise Guest with Pia Arcangel. So sabay-sabay ulit tayong masasurpresa sa ating susunod na panauhin na sa ating next guest. etong ating clue. My next guest is a very young person. Mahilig siya sa Pokemon. Daughter of famous doctors. At ang pangalan niya, Tunog Winter Wonderland! Oh my gosh! Siya ay walang iba kundi si uh, is my surprise guest for today, Scarlet Snow Bello. And my surprise, oh, I love surprise guest. Hello! Hi, Scarlet Snow! How are you? Good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. You know, I've been wanting to interview you for so many years already. Years talaga. How old are you, Scarlet Snow? Seven. So I've been wanting to interview you for, let's say, maybe since you started talking. So maybe four years. <laughs> <laughs> More than half your life. <laughs> How are you? What, what should I call you? Should I call you Scarlet, Scarlet Snow, or do you want me to call you something else? Maybe you can just call me Scarlet. Okay, just Scarlet. And you can call me Tita Pia if you want. Okay. <laughs> okay, so first of all, Scarlett, how are you? Did you just come from school? No, my school is from 7.30 to 2.15, but then on Wednesdays, it's 8.30 to 2.15. Ah, okay, so today is Wednesday. So, okay, you went to school a little later today and you were off by 2.15. I'm not sure, Scarlett, if you heard my introduction earlier. I said that you are the daughter of famous doctors, a very young person and a fan of Pokemon. Do you like Pokemon? I didn't know that. So I was scared when I heard that clue. I was like, a very young person, mahilig sa Pokemon. Who could that be? <laughs> Why do you like Pokemon? Uh, I don't know how to really explain. But does this mean you like playing the game and you like all the Pokemon toys? Well, I have a lot of Pokemon toys and I have a Switch that I usually play Pokemon in. But I also like watching Pokemon. That's what I was actually doing right before this happened. Oh, you were watching right before? Or our uh, conversation. Yeah. Yes, but my favorite thing from all three of those is to play Switch. But I'm only allowed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This week, I played on Tuesday because last week, I was in Balisin, so we could not bring my Switch. Oh, so you have three extra days that you can use your Switch? Yes. Wow. Are you saving the two other days? Which two other days? Because... If you weren't able to use your Pokemon while you were in Balisin for three days and you used it already for one day... I uh, know, I can't save it. My parents only allowed me one. Just one extra day. Yes. Does this mean you have a very specific time only for using all your gadgets? Uh, not all of them. I mean, like, any time I can ask my parents to watch. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to ask them if I can use my phone or my iPad unless there's games. And the same okay. the games. Because in my phone, I usually just work on notes. But also wow. WhatsApp. I usually like texting my mom and dad. And then my dad always sends me Pokemon pictures that look like real life. But the Charmander was like the cutest of all. Oh, I was going to ask you who your favorite Pokemon is. Oh, okay. So who's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, can... Wait. Yeah, you can share screen. You know how to share screen. Can I just type it in the chat? Oh, sure, you can type it in the chat box. Oh, is it a secret? No. <laughs> Why are you typing it in the chat box? I'll only send it to you. Ah, you'll only send it to me. Okay, let me see. Okay, in the chat box. Ah, so am I allowed to say out loud who your favorite is? Ah, uh, yes, but it's not just that because I'm going to tell you six. <laughs> ah, you're going to... Uh, six? How many Pokemons are there ba? I like maybe a bit more than 1,000. I... <laughs> And dami palang Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, so I can say that your favorite is Delphox. That's that's your favorite Pokemon. Wait. Yeah? Also, wait. Okay. I also like Feraligator. How do you pronounce that? Feraligator? Yes. Oh, okay. Feraligator, Delphox, and... I think that's how you spell it. Superior. Superior, okay. Yeah, but I don't know if that's how you spell it. That's okay. It's only you and me who can see the spelling. <laughs> Oh, and Lucario. Okay, you also like Lucario. But hold on. So, Scarlett, how did you first begin liking Pokemon? Well, my classmate told me about it. And then mm -hmm. my parents' friend and my friend Tita Berna taught me about the game Pokemon Go. And my cousin taught me about Pokemon Unite. 
actually, that's the phone that they're using to video me that they're playing Pokemon Unite. But oh. she hid it. She oh, hid it. I can't see because your background is blurred. Oh, she hid your phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she hid your phone. Maybe because it's a school night. I mean, she's using it right now. When I showed it to you, she was like... Ah, she's using it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anything you want to talk about in particular? One of my favorite stuff toys is Mega Charizard Pikachu because it's actually an, just a normal Pikachu, but it's in a hoodie. Mm, so okay. This, this hoodie is actually a Mega Charizard because you know what Charizard is, right? No, I don't know what Charizard yeah, um, is. Do, do you know Charmander? No, I also don't know what Charmander is. Is that from Pokemon? Yes, but Charmander is the evolution of Charizard. I mean, like Charmander evolves into Charmeleon and. And then Charmeleon evolves into Charizard. So this is not Charizard, but this is Mega Charizard. Oh, you buy that. You need a Keystone and a Mega Stone, and I don't know what a Charizard Mega Stone is called. But then I know a Lucario Stone is called a Lucario Knight. Wow, I'm learning so much from you, huh, Scarlett? Maybe I'm gonna go out and buy a Pokemon. You need both of those to let your Mega your Pokemon Mega evolve. Oh. And then you ha- you get the Dynamax band by Wishing Stars to Dynamax your Pokemon and they get super big. And sometimes Pokemon mm-hmm. even change their looks when they Dynamax. Ah, did you buy that toy for yourself? Uh, actually, Kuya Julius gave it to me. Ah, somebody gave it to you. But diba Scarlett, I found out that sometimes you get to earn your own money because you have your own endorsements also. And diba you even treated your mom to breakfast before when you were in Paris? I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember? You must have been really small, pa. But if you treat yourself to something, what would you treat yourself to? Would it be a toy? Would it be clothes? Would it be a gadget? There's actually a new Pokemon game coming this November. Even my dad wants to get it because it's actually called Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Oh, how cute! It's like it was made for you. Yeah. (laughs) Hold on, Scarlet. So if you had school today and then you're going to school again tomorrow does that mean you have homework no no homework in ism ever oh uh, no homework ever wow that is the dream no homework ever <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do when you get home if you don't have homework mm, i don't know you should be you like to play i don't know <laughs> When I'm <laughs> in the car, I mm. actually today I took a shower. How long naman your shower? <laughs> Since you got home from school until now? No! <laughs> No. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought since you got home from school. Oh, so you'll take a shower and then you eat merienda. Uh, no, not really yet. Actually, sometimes yes, sometimes no. And sometimes in the car I eat my lunch also. Oh, okay. Do you finish your food all the time? No. Oh, okay. When you don't get to finish your food, that means you have to eat extra when you get home. Nope. Wait, all your classes are face-to-face na? Yes, no hybrid. And I'm in grade 2. Sorry, what was that? I'm in grade 2. Oh, you're in grade 2 already. Wow. So that means grade 1, you were purely online? Uh, Grade 1, it was hybrid for hybrid. a while. When, no, actually, grade 1, it started... The whole grade 1, it was from all Zoom to hybrid and then... Even still in grade one, it went all face to face. Ah, okay. So now lang na talagang you're every day in school. Do you like it face to face or you prefer online classes? I like face to face, but I, I also like online classes a bit more because whenever we had math class, they would give us a game called Prodigy and it's so fun. <laughs> you battle pets and then you get to mm-hmm. get the pets. But if you mm-hmm. defeat them, you cannot get the pets anymore. But then, like, uh, with the pets, you can... Wait, uh, you have to battle the pet, and then you do a math question to use a move. And if you get the math question wrong, they won't use the move. Oh, okay. So just tell na lang your teacher in math to still give you games now that you're face-to-face. Para it's fun pa rin. But we don't <laughs> have as many iPads. Uh, not as many iPads in class. So be, be, do you still have notebooks? Do you still use notebooks in school? Yes. So you know how to take notes and stuff? Yes. And we don't just have our notebook. We also have like a diary. No, the diary mm-hmm. is for in the morning when you get to write. And mm-hmm. a diary. And it's for some reason, it's private. I don't know why. 
So your <laughs> your diary is private. Uh, not just mine. For some reason, everyone's. Baka because that's where all the secrets are. When I was young, because when you say diary, that means that's where you write all your secrets, and then your diary has a lock pa and a key. Does your diary have a lock and key? No, it's just like a normal notebook. Ah, okay. <laughs> just so, a school diary. Okay. I know. Yeah. And then we, we don't just have a normal note- notebook for writing. And we even have our own literacy notebook and math notebook. Mm-hmm. And then the other small one, I don't remember what it's called. Okay. What's your favorite subject? Uh, writing. Because I love writing books. Wow, you like writing books? I finished it today. I just finished one wow. today. <laughs> You just finished writing a book today? Yeah. Wow, what's the story? Uh, non-fiction. Not, you wrote a non-fiction book? Yes. Okay, that's quite impressive, Scarlett. Not a lot of people write books, <laughs> especially at the age of nine. <laughs> I'm that was nine. Non-fiction. Uh, how old are you? I thought you seven. said you were nine. A uh, seven. Okay, seven. Sorry, I miscalculated. You're o- See, you're only seven years old and you have already written a non-fiction book. My, uh, actually, my teacher wants me to write a fiction one. <laughs> well, actually, I have made a Pokemon book before. Wow, and do you keep all these books? All your stories? I actually don't know where any of them are right now. <laughs> <laughs> when you have time, you look for them and then you share it with us. So we'll see what you wrote. I have no idea where they can even be. Oh my. You know what? I think I'm like you because when I was a kid, but I was probably maybe grade four, I wrote an entire comic book. I was so proud of it. But then I gave it to my mom and now she lost it. I was asking her actually a few months ago where it was. She can't remember. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, because I liked Archie comics. Do you like comics? What's Archie? What's oh my. Archie comics? <laughs> Why Archie? Archie is the name of my friend. Oh, okay. So Archie is this guy. Uh, he's 16 years old and he's a redhead. And then he has friends, Betty and Veronica, who both like him. But he could never choose between Betty and Veronica. That's basically the story of the Archie that I grew up with. My teacher's name is Betty. Uh, maybe she has a friend named Archie. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, did I tell you that it was my teacher's birthday today? Oh, happy birthday to your teacher. We get to eat ice cream. How and fun naman. And we even got like these pretzels with cinnamon and there's chocolate in it. Wow, and sarap naman. Pizza! Asana, your teachers all have their birthdays in school. <laughs> Luckily, I even got more pizza for dinner. What? So you had pizza in school and then at home. Sarap <laughs> naman. It's your lucky day, Scarlett. <laughs> Wait, how many books have you written? I Can you count? count. <laughs> so that many. many? That wow! But never you've never written a fiction story. I have. Oh, you have? What's your favorite fiction story or fiction book that you've but written? But I've only made one book. And that ah, was one book. One. The one that I finished a while ago is my first book I made in grade two. Okay, so the one you finished, the nonfiction book, what's it about? Dogs. About dogs? Why you like dogs? Yes. But I like Pokemon a lot more. <laughs> so Pokemon and then dogs. Yes. And then pizza. Here. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Are you typing a secret in the chat box? <laughs> Let me see. What is your secret? No, look at me. Hold on. Hold on. Pokemon. Ah, okay. <laughs> you changed your name. Okay, you're too quick for this tita. <laughs> you're too quick on Zoom with this tita. <laughs> I did see it right away. <laughs> so, wait a minute, Scarlett. What's your favorite subject aside from writing? Is there anything else? Well, I also like PE, but I think PE mm-hmm. was more fun in grade one because we get to do swimming. Uh, and what's your PE now? Running or? Uh, usually we just go to the covered court and play mm-hmm. turtle tag. And then, no, 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 not turtle tag. We just play normal tag. Kind of like, yeah, tag. And then mm-hmm. we play capture the flag. Okay. And then sometimes we play Among Us also. Ah, okay. When it's break time. This is so cute. I'm so happy to be talking to you. I love your energy. You said that you like dogs. Does this mean that you also have your own pet dogs at home? Four. Four? And I used to have five. Mm -hmm. What happened to the fifth? I gave it away. Uh, You gave it away. Oh, what are the names of your dogs? Sky, Mackie, Jackie, and D.S. Do you have a favorite? DS, even though I like Sky also. 
<laughs> what kind of dog is DS? Uh, TS is a golden retriever. Ah, a go- and how old is TS? I don't know. But I found out that I told you about the dog I gave away, right? He's also mm-hmm. a golden retriever. Her name was Sophie. But the silly thing is that actually she has two nicknames. Because, mm-hmm. because Sophia is her name. And so we call her Sophie. And then mm-hmm. Sophie also has a nickname. Oh, what's Sophie's nickname pa? Um, I don't, Tita Cor calls her Soph or some, I don't know why. Oh, dami namang pangalan ng aso. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feed your pets? Do you feed the dogs? Do you give them a bath? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes only. Are they bigger than you? No naman siguro. No, but TS is huge. Oh yes, I also found, I, I didn't tell you that mm-hmm. actually TS, we found out that TS is actually the tita of my se- my first, my other golden retriever. Oh, what a small world. <laughs> <laughs> How interesting. So I can see that you really love animals a lot. You know, I follow you on Instagram, Scarlett, and I remember you had a trip to Africa and then you saw all these animals. Do you remember that trip? Uh, I, I think I kind of remember Kenya, but South Africa, not so much. Oh, so in Kenya, what kinds of animals did you see? It was super hard to find a lion. I think we only found that on our last day in Africa. <laughs> and because, yeah, sometimes some people go on safari and they never get to see the lion. Yes, it was so hard to find it. <laughs> we just found it like I tell you every single day. Oh, so how did you feel when you finally saw the lion? Very, very happy. <laughs> I mean, it was so easy in South Africa. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, maybe we saw maybe one or two every other day. Maybe. I don't remember so much. Deba, when you go on safari, you have to wake up really early in the morning. Why? Because it has to be when the animals are, you know, parang going out and searching for their food. We went on a hot air balloon. Wow, you rode a hot air balloon? Were you scared? Uh, not really. And what is it so high, huh? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you try and peek down from the basket of the hot air balloon? Yes. And you didn't get scared? No. I mean, like, I think a bit. But actually, we also saw hyenas. Were they laughing? <laughs> no. I mean, so while we didn't see any wild dogs in Kenya, but in South Africa, yes. Ah. Actually, In Kenya or South Africa, I don't know which one, but I don't have the picture anymore because I Mm -hmm. read my phone. There's actually this deer. There was a it was a deer cut in half. Oh my gosh, cut in half? Why? Because somebody was dead deer, blood. Mm -hmm. Oh no. In the middle of this part of its body, in the other part, there was like a ball. Yikes. Even the meat was connecting to the ball. Were there other animals trying to eat the deer? No, it was just the deer itself. And actually, it was so cute when I saw a hyena was eating something and it was sharing with the, with the wild dogs, I think. Oh, no, wait. I forgot what they were called. They're like small. and I think they started with Jack something. Mm-hmm. I, I don't remember what they were called, but the hyenas were eating together and sharing the same food. And my mom said sharing is scary. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Sharing is caring. I didn't know that hyenas did that too. But you didn't get scared when you saw all these animals like the dead deer? No. And the hyenas were very far away. I have a question for you, Scarlett. Because I can see that you love animals so much. Does this mean that maybe when you're all grown up, you want to be like a doctor for animals? Like a vet? Uh, Actually, I'm... How did you know I was still thinking about that? Oh, you're thinking... I'm a mind reader. Are you? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, a wild guess. I know now the thing that was shared, the animal that the hyena was sharing with. It mm. was a jackal. Oh, a jackal! Why well, you saw the picture in the book? That's why you remember. Yes. Oh, nice. So, Scarlett, do you want to be a veterinarian when you grow up? My problem ka ba sa career, love life, sex life. Or do you just need someone to talk to? Kahit gaano pa yan, kahit complicated. Pag-usapan natin yan sa Share Ko Lang Podcast. I'm Dr. Anna Tuazon, isang psychologist. Samahan niyo ako as we hear stories from personalities about issues that we all can relate to. May mapupulot ka pang tips para sa stronger and better version of you. Listen to Share Ko Lang Podcast 
an original by GMA News and Public Affairs. Available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen. Hi, I'm Howie Severino. My colleagues and I developed this idea of creating a podcast as a safe space for sharing insights with leaders and interesting people across diverse backgrounds. I've been a journalist for 33 years as a newspaper reporter, news anchor, online editor, and documentary maker. But podcasting is fresh territory for me. Check out the Howie Severino Podcast, an original for GMA News and Public Affairs. New episodes will stream every Thursday. Listen for free on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and other platforms. Empower yourselves and be safe. So, Scarlett, do you want to be a veterinarian when you grow up? Maybe. Ah, uh, what are the other things you maybe want to be? Do you want to be a doctor like your mom and dad? Actually, my daddy, happily, my daddy already said, like, I forgot if it, it was when I was 12 or 15. He said we could do the, go to the forest and go to the jungle. Wow. And anyway, next year in July, I'm, I'm going to the Arctic. Uh, to the Arctic. And what are you going to do there? You're going to explore... Well, actually, before, there was a video because if you go near their nest, these little birds will attack you and they're like like that with their beaks. Like, <laughs> and they're just like about this small. Oh, <laughs> so it's okay. so cute when they do that. Do they sometimes ask you if you want to be a doctor when you grow up? Uh, well, they want me to. Mm-hmm. And do you want to be a doctor? Mm, maybe. If not a doctor, what do you think you might want to do? If I don't want to be a doctor, Mm-hmm. Then, I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. You're young. You have lots and lots of time to think about it. Wow. So when you're older, you're going to go there with your dad and your mom. So uh, do you have... Just diff- next year. Ah, next year. Ah, okay. When you're 12 or 15, that's when you're going to the jungle or the forest. In both. Both. Okay, wow. That's so interesting. That's what my dad said. Oh, and he even said I could get a pet uh, lion's mane monkey when I was... When I became 10. What? Oh, quanti na lang. You're almost 10. You can get a monkey na. (laughs) It's called a lion's mane monkey. A lion's mane monkey. Yeah. Okay, I don't even know what that is. I should Google that. What are the places you do remember going to? Some of the favorite places in the world you've I been like, to. I liked going to Fundacion when I went to Paris. Mm-hmm. Well, I had fun in the snow when I went to Japan. Okay. And Korea was also really fun too. What did you like about Korea? I actually don't really remember what I did there. Just <laughs> you just remember the feeling of being Actually, there. Actually, all I remember is eating. Eating? <laughs> What's your favorite food? California maki with mayonnaise wow, on top, mm. Japanese mayonnaise, and no vegetables. I mean, like, it's just <laughs> California maki, and then with okay. fish and mango inside, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And then with, with, uh, with mayonnaise on top. Oh, so you like Japanese food? Yes, I like it. And I was so happy because when I went to Balisin, they have Japanese mayonnaise on the California maki. Wow. So it's the is that your favorite California maki, the one in Balisin? I like it. But then mm-hmm. I, I I had two servings. Actually, oh wait, no, I didn't. But I actually <laughs> finished the whole the whole the whole plate. I didn't give any Oh my gosh. Any, <laughs> nothing. I didn't give anything to anyone. I just eat all mm. of it. I saw on Instagram that you had your swimming lessons during pandemic and you're a very good swimmer. Do you like the beach as much as you like the snow? Uh, I think I'll probably like the snow more because like, mm-hmm. even if you can swim in the beach, it's so hard to swim. Like You have to go all the way to the deep part for you to even get no feet on the water. Diba, I mentioned earlier that I follow you on Instagram. But I know that on Instagram, it says there that it's not managed by you, the account, of course, because you're only seven. But do you get to see your photos on Instagram? My dad shows it to me. And sometimes I actually sneak into the black phone to check it out. <laughs> Just to see what the photos are. Because actually, I have three phones. An iPod, mm-hmm. uh, and then two other... iPhones. iPhones, yes. And then I have two iPads. 
and two iPads. So, how come you have so many? One for study, oh, yes. one for playing? And the iMac that I'm using right now is mine. And I also have an HP. Ah, okay. That one for school. But, so you said you sometimes sneak into the phone to look at the pictures. Do you like dressing up for the photos and posing? No. No? <laughs> how come no you, don't like, you don't like playing dress up? No, it's so itchy. Ah, it's itchy. So after after that, you just change right away. Well, yes. But yeah. sometimes, if I'm okay with it and I'm just excited to play Switch or watch, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I'll just stay in this na lang. No, 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 please don't make me change. <laughs> Usually do that when it's comfortable. Ah, what kinds of clothes do you find most comfortable? The dresses that are like, uh, how do you explain it, Miss Jessica? A little Miss Lacey. My cousin's name is Lacey and her mom is a designer. So I have some of her mom's clothes that her mom made. So wow. I think named it after my cousin. It's called Little Miss Lacey. Is your cousin also your best friend or do you have other best friends? Well, my really, really best friends are Ipe. Mm-hmm. And Ipe and Liam is Liam's also my cousin, the one who taught me about Pokemon Unite. And I <laughs> I'm also friends with Sebi. Okay, Sebi is your classmate or used to be. Not anymore in grade two, but yes in grade one. But I don't know why, but can I just type it in the chat? Don't say it out loud. Definitely do not. Okay, I will I promise I won't say it out loud. You can DM me. And everybody will wonder what it is that we're talking about. Do you share a lot of your secrets with mom and dad? Mm, not if it's a surprise for them. And also, sometimes I don't want to tell them something. Maybe I'll, sometimes I tell a little bit later and sometimes I really don't tell it. <laughs> okay, I hope they don't hear that part that sometimes you don't tell them at all. Oh, they know. They know. Oh, Because they always know. Parents always know, right? Do you sometimes play pranks on your mom and dad? No, I usually make them laugh with jokes and I tickle them. And <laughs> sometimes before night, I team up with either my daddy or my mommy to tickle. Like if I team up with my daddy, I tickle my mommy. If I team up with my mommy, we both tickle my daddy. But I usually team up with mommy and then she holds <laughs> down. And then actually before we said... Okay, group hug, and then me and daddy, when we did a group hug, he, she, we all hugged each other, and then daddy pinned her arms down, and I tickled her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if you team up with mommy, sometimes you team up with daddy. Do mommy and daddy sometimes team up to tickle you? No, never. Never? Why? What happens if they try to tickle you? Nothing. You're not ticklish. I am. Wait, actually... When they touch here or here, mm-hmm. I don't know which part. I'm actually ticklish. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. How about um? do you like watching movies with mommy and daddy? Yes, I like watching movies with mommy and daddy. That's also really, really fun. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, that's what I think. But what are your favorite things to do with them? Uh, I like playing. Playing. Ju- just playing. Purely playing with them. I love playing. When you go out on trips with your mom and dad, who do you get to spend more time with? Um, Usually both of them. Usually both of them. What do you like doing with your mom and what do you like doing with your dad? Well, with my dad, we usually read the Bible. So you pray together after you read the Bible? Uh, we Yes, we pray together. And then with my mom, we usually do my highlights book. Or play Lego. And when my dad has time, we get to play together with my toys. You said that you read the Bible with your dad. Do you have like a favorite Bible verse? Uh, I don't really remember them. But when you read it in the Bible, your dad explains the verses to you. Well, usually I listen to parables. I'm learning so much from you. Like I learned about all these animals from you. And I heard that you speak several different languages. Is it okay if you teach me some of the words or sentences that you know Chinese? yes yes okay, what like what say um hi hi my name is carlet what what oh what, what how do you say scarlet in mandarin she home I mean, that's my chinese name ah that's your chinese name okay and i think you spell it as i don't really know but i think this is how you spell it shu hong she like that but it's a lot of different tones. There's a lot of tones in Chinese. I mean, like, sometimes 
two words sound the same mm-hmm. if you don't add tones, but when they're tones, they mean different things like mau and mau. If you don't add the tones, it's like mau mau. But then it's gonna. Mm-hmm. But actually, the first mau means cat, and the second mau means fur. Mau. <laughs> Like meow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you, but you also speak Filipino, right, Scarlett? Is it easier for you to speak Filipino than to speak Mandarin? Uh, well, I think both of them are hard enough. Really? So uh, what what's harder for you? I think the harder one's kind of like uh, Filipino. Filipino. Kasi minsan malalim. Pero pwede pala tayong mag-Tagalog. Pwede tayong mag-Filipino? Um... I don't know that much. <laughs> what else do you want me to tell you in Chinese? Oh, sige. In, in Chinese, tell me, um, what did you do today? What does that mean? Uh, what did you do today? <laughs> but, and I thought actually, you answered my question. <laughs> actually. <laughs> so what did you do today? <laughs> <laughs> so actually... Actually, in Chinese, if you translate mm-hmm. exactly English and not in the right grammar, it's going to be, today you do what? Ah, okay. Oh, last na lang. Uh, in Filipino naman, anong ginawa mo ngayong araw na to? Anong ginawa ng araw na ito? Mm-mm. Anong ginawa mo? Pumasok ka sa eskwelahan? Opo. At nagkan Miss Jean ako. Ah, okay. Tapos? Tapos, mag, nag-TV ako. Mm-hmm. At dinner na ako. Kumain ka na. Opo, at mayroon yogurt ako. Wow, sarap naman ng hapunan mo. <laughs> All right. Ako, Scarlett, thank you so much for surprising me today. Did you know that this was a surprise for me? No. It was a secret. Who did you want it to be? Wow, that's a great question. <laughs> I'm not used to the one being asked questions, Scarlett. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know who I wanted it to be for this particular day, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm very happy that it was you. Like I told you, I've always wanted to try and interview you and talk to you because I find you so cute. I mean, I'm sure people say that to you all the time. And I don't need these glasses. They're just for blue light. Other for blue light. So you can see clearly. Very clearly. Very clearly. Okay, so Scarlett, before we um, wrap this up, before we end our conversation, let's play a little game. Okay? Oh, wait. Are you going to tell me a word and then I'll tell you blah, blah, blah. Wait. Yes. How do you know that? <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a word and then just tell me the first thing that comes to mind when I say that word. Okay? Uh, yeah. Now you're right. Okay. Ready. So, because everybody but me knew that you were going to be our guest today, they prepared a special game for you. Okay, so here's the first word. Tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Snow. Snow? What do you think of? What's the first thing you think of when you hear White. the word snow? White. Nice. Snow. Powdery also. So, I'd say seven dwarves. <laughs> Next, cats. Kittens. Very good. Dogs. Puppies. <laughs> Oh, the babies. How about this one? Do you know what colossal means? Wow. At the age of seven, you know what colossal means. Oh, what's the first word? <laughs> How do you do that? What's the first word that comes to mind when you hear the word colossal? Okay, that's, that's the perfect expression for colossal. <laughs> That's so hard to do. <laughs> that is hard to do. If you use your uh, core muscles. Wait, look at wait, look at my face. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's do it together. Okay. When you say colossal, what comes to mind? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, next. How about enthusiastic? I for, I didn't know that word, but I forgot. It means very excited. Oh, yeah. What makes, no, what makes you excited. excited? Excited. Excited. But what makes Scarlet excited? New Switch game. Oh, Pokemon. Okay, next. How about when you hear the word courteous? What's courteous? It means like polite. Okay. Polite. Would you say that Scarlet is a very polite girl? I don't know. 
Do you like to say po and opo? Yes. But I don't really speak a lot of Tagalog. Last word. How about the word flimsy? That's hard. Yeah, that's hard. Very easy to break. <laughs> that's right. Very easy to but break. But maybe breakable. Very good. Like fragile. Very good, Scarlett. I give you a perfect score for this game. Congratulations. Oh, wow. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, Scarlett, we know it's a school night and you have to sleep early. What time do you go to bed? I can still watch TV after this. Okay, but what time do you have to go to bed? Uh, eight. And eight. then what time do you have to wake up? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. What time do you normally wake up? Uh, I think really sometimes... 5.45 or 5.50. Oh, how early. Who wakes you up in the morning? Um, Yelenita. Ah, and then you have breakfast at home before you go to school? Yes. What do you like to eat for breakfast? Bread, cereals, rice? Depends on what's there. I mean, like today I got yummy salami. <laughs> you had salami for breakfast? Yes. Sarap, ah. And then oh. you get rice and cheese and egg. <laughs> I love your energy, Scarlett. Maybe the reason why you're still so energetic, kahit gabing gabi na, ay dahil nagsalami ka for breakfast. Tas nag ice cream ka pa sa school. Tas may pizza pa. Tas pag uwi mo may pizza pa ulit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Scarlett, you have the cutest faces. Okay, you're making so many cute faces for us. So before we let you go, can you just give us like a short message for your mom and your dad? Mommy, Daddy, I love you and I hope you live a long life. And how about for all the people who um, follow you on uh, social media? I hope you also get a lot of followers. And thank you for following me. Do you know how many followers you have? Nope. 5,000 like more. 5 million? My dad said 5 million. Wow, that's a know. lot. I have no idea. I don't know. Oh, okay. Very good because you should not always be looking at how many followers, how many likes, and all that, right? I don't even care about that, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. What's one important lesson that your mom and dad have taught you that they always tell you that you want to share with other kids? Before, my daddy said that when someone needs help, don't give it to them. Teach them how to do it or make it. Because when you cannot help them anymore, they cannot have it. Like, for example, food. If they can't get food, you don't give them food. Make, teach them how to cook food. Because when you cannot teach them anymore, they will have no food and they will die. But I So like now it. you know when somebody asks you for help, you teach them how to do things, right? Or teach them how to make things. Yes, teach them how to do things or to make things so they can help themselves. All right. Thank you so much, Scarlett. I had fun. I hope you had fun. Of course I did. Yay. Thank you, Scarlett. This adorable surprise was planned by the team of Alan Ebora and Aubrey de los Reyes, edited by Shirley Paghiligan with the wonderful people of Jimmy Newsom Public Affairs Digital. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till the next surprise! <laughs>